What's up guys and welcome to Tasker Tuesday, a weekly show where I teach you a tip or trick on how to use Tasker. Last week I showed you how to run a shell script. Today we'll be talking about variables. It's going to be a lot of fun. You don't want to miss this one. Let's get started. So before we begin, let me show you an example of what we're trying to do today. Using voice actions and variables, we're able to create a task that can dynamically change based on that variable. Let me give you an example or elaborate more on that. So for example, I can tell my phone to load Netflix and play a specific movie. The movie is the variable because it can change. I don't know what movie I want to watch today. It could be Terminator 2, it could be The Rock, it could be Bad Boys 2, whatever. So that is the variable. Let me give you an example. Netflix, play Terminator 2. So what it's going to do, it's going to load Netflix. It's going to do a search for Terminator 2, and then it's going to play it exactly how I told it to automatically without me having to do anything. As you can see, it's doing the Terminator 2 search. It's going to play. Remember, that is a variable. It doesn't have to be ter Terminator 2. It could be any movie. There you go. Pretty cool, right? So this is exactly what we're going to learn today. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Oppo Find 5 to give you this demo since I don't have any of those uh, actions preloaded. Now, last week, it seems some of you had trouble with the default voice action. In other words, this is auto continuous voice and you guys weren't able to see that. Reason being is because I am using the beta version and I apologize. I didn't know that that was not available in the regular version. And in order to do this today, you will need the beta version and I'll leave a link down below on how you can do that. One way you can find out if you're running the beta version is this, toggle continuous. If you do not see that, that means you do not have the current, as of filming this video, uh, auto voice. So make sure you go ahead and grab that first. Now, I don't know if you see, I have a pen and paper over here. You're gonna wanna do the same because now we're going to get into some serious uh, programming, I guess. Just a lot of steps, so it's better to just write this down. Okay. Uh, let's begin with something that we learned last week. That was, if you remember, last week I talked about, let's go ahead and close all this stuff, uh, settings. You want to go ahead and enable uh, show touches, or actually pointer location. Sorry, where is that at? There it is. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, pointer locations. That's very important in order to do what we're about to do today. Okay, so now... Let's go ahead and do the example I showed you with Netflix. Now you can do this with anything. You can even send a cast. You can look up somebody from your, your, um, your phone book. doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and load Netflix. So what's step number one, what we're trying to achieve? Load Netflix, okay? Now we have to think about this logically, okay? Oops, can't, can't write today. Netflix. What happens when I load Netflix? Before I can do my next command, I have to wait because it's loading. How long do I have to wait? Well, that depends on your phone, the type of connection. Usually for me, I've noticed that it's between five to 10 seconds, but just for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna do 12 second wait, okay? So before I do anything else, I'm gonna do a 12 second wait. What's the next step? The next step is for me to search for a movie that I wanna watch. So in this case, I'm going to push on this and I need the actual parameters for this. So this is, uh, 1,160. So I'm going to put input tap. Remember that? If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch last week's video. Input tap, 1,150. Okay. Which will bring up this screen. Okay. So now what is the movie that I want to search for? So this is going to be a type. This is going to, well, I'm going to type the movie. So this is going to be the variable. Okay. So we'll do this variable because we don't know what we're going to type. So in this case, we'll just use commando as an example. doesn't matter the movie. It's just, you know, what's the next step after it searches for the movie? Okay. Assuming that you got the movie correct, it would be this step to, to actually push on here. And that is 240, 490, 240, 490 input. Okay, so you guys following with me? So basically I'm re replicating all of the steps. So it's going to push to 4490 right now. And then what's gonna happen? I want it to play the movie. 
So in this case, the last step would be input, and then this is going to be 165, 500 roughly. 165, 500. Now here's something important. My input taps are different from yours because depending on the resolution you have, depending on the type of phone. So if you're copying what I'm doing, it's not gonna work on your phone unless you have an Oppo Find 5, okay? So let's go ahead and start programming this. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into Tasker now. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get fun. You can actually disable, if you want, the input tap, just because it can get a little annoying. So I disabled pointer location, not input tap, and we're ready to begin. This is where the fun starts. Load up Tasker like I've done already, and we're going to create a profile. This should be something that you should be familiar with, and especially if you watched last week's video, then this should be uh, something that should be normal to you. Uh, let's go ahead and do the auto voice recognize. Remember, check mark event behavior. Now, our trigger word in my case is going to be Netflix play. You can do whatever you want. You can have it say, you know, play movie or play whatever. So Netflix play, and this is going to be our variable. So one of the nice things about the new auto voice is that it allows you to create your own variable. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is a variable. This is how you create a variable. So just give me a second here. Now the variable I'm going to use is called movie. You can call it whatever you want. There is no right or wrong um, name. It's just for you to remember. Otherwise, once you have like 50 variables, you're gonna get confused. So in this, in this case, it's gonna say Netflix play and then the variable. Variable meaning that it is able to change because I don't know what movie I wanna watch. I'm not gonna put Terminator 2 because that's not the only movie I'm gonna watch. So that is the variable I created. Remember, the movie part inside, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it film, you can call it actor. If you're doing, let's just say you're doing a command for uh, Google Play Music, you can say artist, album, whatever. This is just for you to keep track. So we are creating a variable called movie. Go ahead and push okay. You must enable regex in order for this to work. So just a little FYI. So that's it, we've created our trigger word and that's Netflix, play, and then whatever the movie is. Now let's go back and do our little programming here. So we're gonna need to create a task. In this case, we could just call this Netflix. Call it whatever you want. So the first thing we need to do is load Netflix, right? That's first on our list. So let's go ahead and do that. So go, go ahead and push on app, load app, and it's going to be Netflix. Okay, Netflix, there it goes. Go back. Now we wanna wait, depending, remember I put 12 seconds and I'm just being really conservative on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 12 seconds. You could do it however you want. Like I said, depending on how fast your internet connection or phone is, it could vary. Now once we wait for 12 seconds, we're going to do an input tap. That's when it does a little search. I don't know if you guys remember. So we're going to do a shell script like we did last time, or last week. If you didn't watch last week's video, you really need to uh, do that. Otherwise, you're gonna be lost. Input tap, so that's going to be 1000 by 150. And that's why I labeled this video advanced, is because I figured you already know all this stuff. And remember to check mark to use root. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. So now, if you want, you can even test it. So let's do a little quick, quick test. Okay, we're gonna play. So it's gonna load Netflix. Remember, it's gonna take 12 seconds because I already had it running in the background. Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> By the way, my daughter watches this. I don't, I'm not a fan of these. At least it doesn't have Barney, right? Then it's gonna do the search. So there, it worked, great. So the next step is to type a variable, right? But let's go back into uh, Tasker here. I usually like to do another wait just in case something's running in the background. I'm just, you know, just wanna make sure it runs perfect. So I do another wait. Even though I didn't write it down here, I usually like to do waits before running a script. I'll wait another second. Then I'm gonna type my variable. So I'm gonna do type. That is the a action, by the way. So you do type. Now, what type of text? We don't have a predefined text because it's a variable. So 
in most cases, if you push here, the variable will show up. See how it says toggle, AV, continuous, and there's other variables that Tasker has. Now, in this case, because you created your own variable, it may not show up. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, don't worry. All you need to do is um, load up the percentage sign as soon as I find it here. And then what is the name of your variable? In this case, mine was movie. So if yours was film, then you type film, actor, lowercase. Remember that. How you wrote it on the other side has to be has to match. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, that's done. Now, the next thing is to do another input tab. But like I said, I like to do another weight between things. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and do that. Another second weight. So we're going to we're, we're actually right here in case you guys are not following along. So the next step is input tab. 24490. So that's another shell script. Okay, input, tap, 240, 490. Okay, use root. Okay, wait. I know, I, like I said, I like to do weights, and that's just, uh, and the last one would be this one. Okay. 165 to 500. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, script, run shell. I really encourage you guys to watch, uh, I'll leave those links down below, those videos if you're lost. Um, it'll make life a lot easier for you. But once you match, this is really easy guys. Like I said, this is, use root. It doesn't take that much time. And just to verify, make sure you've used root on all of them. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so that's basically it. Let's go ahead and test it. Now, because the variable, it, since I'm, it's not actually picking up my voice right now, it's just going to say movie. So let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so it's going to load Netflix. It's going to wait 12 seconds. So you're going to even follow along with me here. Loaded Netflix. It's going to wait 12 seconds. And then after that, it's going to do an input tap right there. So it's going to do right about right now. And it's going to do my variable. It's going to write movie instead because there's, it didn't hear my voice. And it's going to push on that, wait another second. And it's going to push on the movie. Bam! Like a boss. So another way that I use this feature is by sending a Chromecast. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let this thing focus for a second. So I'll show you the command. Basically, it's going to say cast movie, and then I'm using that same variable movie. Okay? So when I say cast movie, and then let's just say, I, you know, whatever movie you choose, it will do the exact same steps, but instead it's going to send the Chromecast. I just did a couple different input taps. So let's go ahead and show you an example of that. Cast movie commando. It's gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna load Netflix. So while it's doing that, you already know what movie you wanna watch. So you go ahead and do that. You know, you say cast movie commando. You go get your drinks ready and just let this do it on its own. Why, why have to go into Netflix, dive right in, you know, go through all that mess when it just does it all on its own there it goes look at that bam and it's going to say bedroom boom automatic that's the beauty of tasker which some people just don't get so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave your comments down below and let me know how you are going to be using these new voice actions also make sure you subscribe to the video if you enjoyed it and please share this with everybody that you know friends family even trolls, they, they like this kind of stuff too. So anyhow guys, thanks for watching and see you next Tuesday. Adios. Gotta go watch my movie, Commando.